Hi, I am Mohammed. Abacus application engineer from Ben Musa company. In this tutorial video, I will teach you how to write 3D hashing criterion in VMA subroutine, which is used for composite materials. This package is an advanced package that includes both failure criteria, theory training, and depends this training with a valid and practical example. At the end of this course, you will be able to write failure criteria and in addition, you can use the available ready-made code in your research and industrial projects. I started write, writing this code a few years ago and compared the accuracy of the results with several papers and it is a useful code. Also, there is a free support for your questions if you need it and you can contact me anytime. In short, if I want to explain our company to you, I would like to say that we provide a specialized consulting, training and mentoring services in the field of simulation for students and industrial companies. Our company is located in Iran and so far our products and services have been sold to many people around the world. What is taught in this video is a project that has been provided to you in the form of 0 to 100 training that has been worked on by the team for months. So if you need advice or training in the field of simulation, you can contact us, you can follow our activities on the social network on the site too. Also, you who have prepared this training are part of our special customer group. I hope we can work together in the future. If you are interested in working with us, you can send me your CV too. Thank you. The purpose of this video is to teach you what is 3D Ashing Theory, how to write it in VM and subroutine, and how to visualize the results. So I will explain 3D hashing failure criteria, then VM at subroutine necessary rules, and then writing the code. And finally, visualize the results is explained. So in this package, you will learn what is 3D hashing failure criteria, what are material degradation models? What is VMAT subroutine? How to write VMAT subroutine in Abacus? What is CDM and how to apply it in subroutine? How to define laminated composite materials? How to define cohesive elements? How to perform impact analysis? Validating the results with Gu et al. paper, which is right in 2013 how to debug the code and how to visualize the results. This tutorial has eight sections which are first introduction, then machine failure criteria theory is explained. In the third part, you will learn what is continuum damage mechanics or CDM. Fourth, VMAT subroutine, fifth, writing VMAT subroutine, sixth, impact model, then additional nodes, and finally, the limitation. Okay, we start with the first part of the tutorial, which includes an introduction to some of the subroutines in Abacus, and then the importance of VMAT subroutines. As you may be know, uh, some more important subroutines which is used by the users in the world in Abaku software are defined here. First, deload subroutine which is used for a specifying user defined loading. U1 is used for defining a user output variable, URD field for reading the results file during the analysis SIGINY or specifying initial stress fields 
USTFL subroutine is used for defining field variable dependence. Creep subroutine is used to define time dependent viscoplastic behavior, creep and swelling. D-flow subroutine define non-uniform perfluid velocity in a new line consolidation analysis. UMAT subroutine define a material's mechanical behavior. VUEL is used to define an element. VU field is used to define a specified predefined field variables. VU hard define the yield surface size and hardening parameters for isotropic. Plasticity or combined hardening models. VU inter define the interaction between contact surfaces and VU mat, which is teached in this training video, is used to define material behavior. UMAT and VUMAT subroutines are used to define the material equation of state. UMAT is used in a standard solver and VUMAT in explicit solver. Use UMAT for implicit time integration. You must provide material stiffness matrix for use in forming the Jacobian of the nonlinear equilibrium equations, like the formula you see here. Use UMAT for explicit time integration, and unlike UMAT, there is no need to define the Jacobi matrix. This is probably an important question for you. Why VUMAT is important? Why and when do we use VUMAT subroutine? Okay, as you can see, Abacus has an extensive constitutive library. There are many, many material models in this software. If you have worked with Alessina or ANSYS, you have seen that their material model library is much larger than Abacus. Okay, for almost every material, there are material constitutive models. You can find all kind of damage and failure behaviors in them. For example, for concrete material, foam material, rubber, composite material, biomaterial, and many other materials. But in Abacus software, some models are missing. It means there is not the material which you want. Some models are not flexible enough. It means you like to use newer version of the materials or damage model or something like that. Sometimes you want to test some idea you have or validate the result with a paper or any other thing that you want to define or develop new material models. These are the main reasons we write subroutine. Notice that use ViewMat when none of the existing material models included in the Abacus explicit material library accurately represent the behavior of the material to be modeled. So we can develop our models, especially for failure and damage models, which is on the stock market these days. User material subroutines make it possible to define any constitutive model of arbitrary complexity. They can be used with any Abacus explicit structural element type. If you want to use multiple subroutines, then all of them can be implemented in a single VMAT routine and can be used together. 